Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis. He is in Iowa. He's speaking live in Council Bluff to voters there in Iowa. Of course, the Iowa caucus on Monday. And let's go live and listen in to what Governor DeSantis, who's now number three in most of the polls there, is saying. I'm running for your issues and your family's issues and solely to turn this country around. I'm the only one running that everything I promised the voters that I would do, I delivered on 100% of my promises. I'm so sick. I'm so sick of these Republicans always saying they're going to do all these things. Then they get into office and they either don't do it or they do the opposite. These get these Republicans in the U.S. Senate. You know, we have a big problem on our border. Uh, they want to send all this money overseas. And a lot of Republicans are like, wait a minute, you got to care more about your border than you do about foreign borders. Let's stop the invasion of our own country first and foremost. And that's and that's common sense. I mean, obviously, that makes sense. And so they're doing stuff. And Chip Roy has been leading something that would actually solve the problem with legislation. So these Senate Republicans, they come up with this this deal, which is like making the problem worse. They're like funding more people coming in. They're giving benefits to illegals. I mean, it's unbelievable that they would try to shove that down the people's throats. I can tell you this, when I'm president, those types of insider deals that put the American people last will be dead on arrival. Don't even worry about that. And, you know, I mean, uh, Donald Trump is, is another because, you know, he promised to build a wall and have Mexico pay for it. And here's the thing. If he had built the wall, there would be no way that Biden would have been able to bring in 8 million people. That's the whole purpose of a wall, that it's a physical fact of life, that even if you have an open borders president, that it would stop people from just coming in. And so he had four years to do it, um, you know, didn't get it done and really didn't even come close to getting it done. And then also he did things like but but he's promising the same thing now. Uh, to now going forward. He also said he'd have the largest deportation in history. Uh, he deported less illegal aliens than Barack Obama did in Obama's first term. That is just a fact. And so now he's promising the biggest deportation in history, just like he did in 2016, but he didn't do it the first time. And he, he's promising to do something about this birthright citizenship. Uh, you know, I think it's wrong. If someone comes across the border illegally and has a, has a baby, to all of a sudden say that's citizenship, that is not what the Constitution was envisioned to do. So, so I, I oppose having that, and I will change that policy. Well, he promised to do that in 2016. All he had to do was sign an executive order. And look, it would have been litigated in the courts for sure, but he had to sign an executive order. That's what he promised to do. Literally would have taken him two minutes to go sit behind the desk, get the sheet of paper, review it, put your John Hancock on it and do it. And he had four years and he didn't even sign that executive order. So to me, that's a problem because if you promise you're going to do something, you should do it. But what's worse is he's now running in 2024 promising that if he can get elected, he's going to sign an executive order on birthright citizenship, which he could have done for his first four years. So, you know, uh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me.